Vous écoutez l'écho de l'Europe au micro Simon Marty. Bonsoir à tous, chers amis auditeurs, et bienvenue sur notre antenne. And now we are starting the English part of the Echo of Europe. Because of technical issues, we were not able to stream our signal as usual. The antenna broke on Saturday night, so the show was streamed only on Monday evening. We had less feedback, so we can say we were the three farthest auditors. This was exceptional, and we rely on your feedback to let you know next week the three farthest auditor will listen to us. We remind you that you can send us a feedback on www.echoofeurope.eu and study the map showing our auditors. Now, the news. Broadcaster of sexually explicit content selected for EU funding. A Bulgarian broadcaster of pop folk music and video with often shocking sexually explicit content was selected for 1 million euro grant under the EU competitive operative program. An outpouring of criticism through social media compelled the Commission to ask the Bulgarian authority to open an investigation. The company, Pena Media, a Bulgarian broadcaster, was selected for a non-refundable grant of 1 million euro from the European Regional Development Fund. The total budget of the project was 1.63 million euro. The Bulgarian government co-financed a part of this project. Both Pioneer Media and Planet TV are known for broadcasting pulp folk music known as Shalga. The music and video are highly recognizable by their oriented sound, the barely dressed female performer, and the sexually explicit lyrics. The male protagonist in video clip usually look like gangster, and the female protagonists are portrayed as porn star. We can notice that pornography is officially forbidden in Bulgaria, but all cable operas are provide pornographic content. Sherwin Wheeler, spokesperson for Regional Policy Commissioner, confirmed that Spain or media was selected for a grant for 1 million euro by the Bulgarian authorities. But as yet, no EU grant or advance has actually been made, she said. Shalga music is gaining popularity in Bulgaria, especially among young people and the business of Shalga Tech, nightclub where the music is performed. Shalga festival are also booming. The Daily Saga caught a number of prominent personalities who expressed the dismay from the funding for Painer Media. For example, the film director Alexander, the composer and pianist Anthony Dotchev, and Deli Mokov urge Bulgarian theater and film director. Brussels eyes telecom reform. The EU will set out reform for a pan-European telecommunication market this year to support competition and investment in the sector. The Black Telecom chief, Nelly Cross, said in a newspaper interview on January 14th. Cross said he was not thinking a single regulator, but greater cooperation between the European Commission and national regulator as well as asset sharing between companies to promote investment. This talk, attended by executives from Dutch Telecom, France Telecom, Telecom Italia, Telefonica, KPN and Belgiacom, and then with a promise to look into ways that a single European telecom market could work. However, industry source later planned down the idea of a single network saying the November meeting a focus on whether a large number of operators could be consolidated through takeovers. Europe said tougher rules for rating agency. Amity has signed off a deal aimed at tightening regulation of credit rating agency, ending over one year of torture negotiation between deputy and national government. The European Parliament on Wednesday voted in favour of a cross-party compromise text agreed in November, which is aimed at 
preventing conflict of interest, increasing competition, and reducing the reliance of business and government on credit rating. Rating agencies have come under fire in the past five years, attracting blame for giving overly generous rating to the financial instrument, which caused a subprime debt crisis in 2007. Meanwhile, EU leader claims that a series of rating dog rent for nine eurozone country in January 2012 led to market speculation on the breakup of the single currency. In light of this, EU lawmakers want to reduce the role of credit rating agency in rating the credit worthiness of government, and the new rule include a cap of unsolicited sovereign rating at three per year. Politicians have also condemned the oligopoly of the three main rating agency, Stoddard & Poor's, Moody's and Fitch which have combined market shares around 95%. Under the compromise, financial instruments would need to be rated by at least two credit rating agencies, with greater public disclosure of information on rating, and investors given the right to claim compensation from rating agency for certain or negligence. In move to prevent conflict of interest where agency rate organizations that they all share in, the new rules will prohibit agency shareholders with 10% or more of the capital or voting right from holding 10% or more of the rated entity. Ireland, a Europe minister, Lucinda Creighton, speaking on behalf of government, said that the deal was another step toward better regulation of the financial service industry. The rule are to come into force in 2014. This is how we finish our show. The question of the week is about the last subject. Do you think that the rating agency are to work for the world in which finance will everything? We are keen on having your answer on contact at echoofeurope.eu. We wish you all a happy week and let us know how you receive our signal by filling our feedback page on www.echoofeurope.eu. Good night and see you next week, same day, same hour.